Other phosphate-based industries focuses on the production of phosphate salts for, for different purposes, and most of these salts can be produced through neutralization of pure acid with carbonate or hydroxide. When you react the pure acid with sodium carbonate, depending on the ratio of the base of the acid, you can obtain either the monosodium phosphate or the disodium phosphate, while the trisodium phosphate would require the reaction with a much stronger base like sodium hydroxide to make the trisodium phosphate product. Also, sodium phosphates can be polymerized to produce sodium polyphosphate products. These phosphate salts, including the mono, di, and trisodium phosphates, are used in metal cleaning and in, in boiler water treatment and as buffer solutions in, in, in textile industry. Disodium dihydrogen phosphate is also used as a baking powder, while the tetrasodium diphosphate is used as a filler in the industrial cleaning agents to sequester calcium and magnesium ion. The higher molecular weight polyphosphates can be utilized in the manufacture and processing of processed cheese, condensed milk, and as a, as a pigment susp suspension stabilizer and in the tanning of leather. Ammonium phosphates can be obtained from the neutralization of pure acid with ammonia, however this only allows the production of the uh, monoammonium phosphate and the diammonium phosphate. Polyphosphates on the other hand require the reaction between phosphoric acid and urea. These ammonium phosphate salts can be used as fertilizers and it also is used as an additive for fire extinguishing agents for fighting uh, forest fires and as a flame retardant in paper, textile and polyurethane industries. And it's also used in the prevention of afterglow in the matches and as a component of paints as a flame retarding coating. The third category of industrial phosphates include the calcium phosphates. Those can be produced by the reaction of the pure acid with calcium oxide to produce the calcium dihydrogen phosphate or the calcium monohydrogen phosphate based on the concentration of the acid used. Superphosphates, which are typical fertilizers, can be produced directly from the appetite or through the reaction with sulfuric acid according to this equation here. The superphosphates are typically used as fertilizers, while the simple calcium phosphates can be used in the baking powder, which is typically a mixture of calcium dihydrogen phosphate with uh, sodium bicarbonate. When these mix together in water, an acid-based reaction will take place, producing carbon dioxide and water. It's also used in toothpastes. Elementa phosphorus can be produced from apatite ore by electrothermal reduction with coke in the presence of silica, according to this equation right here. Carbon dioxide reacts with coke to produce carbon monoxide that can then react with the calcium phosphate ore to reduce phosphate into white phosphorus and deposit calcium as calcium oxide. And the overall equation that describes the process is summarized over here. Silica is added to remove the calcium oxide as slag, which also helps to remove other impurities from the reaction medium. The appetite used for this process must be pre-granulated and centered to ensure sufficient permeability to the gases used in the reduction inside the furnace. This is a flow chart that summarizes the production of white phosphorus in which coke and apatite ore are pumped into the electrothermal reactor where the electrical energy along with carbon monoxide helps reducing phosphate into white phosphorus and the calcium ion deposit at calcium oxide that reacts with, with silica to form slags that can be separated and the phosphorus and carbon monoxide produced can be moved to a second compartment where electrostatic filtering takes place in which any remaining dust of appetite is granulated and recycled into the production step while the product phosphorus and carbon monoxide is moved to a condensation tower in which white phosphorus is condensed into liquid phosphorus and is in a second compartment at lower temperature solid phosphorus is produced and the uh, carbon monoxide is recycled back into the reactor again.